Ready, set, hut! The Burlington Red Devils are back and are ready to head on the field for another football season. Last week I went to the practice field to see the team in action. There were some changes made in the lead up to this season, the most significant being the introduction of new head coach Dan McKay. So I've been coaching football for the last 12 years. Uh, I was in Barica for eight years or so. Um, I was a coach at Lexington High School last year. I'm a, I've been a teacher at Burlington High School for the last 11 years. And when the job opened up, I applied for it, had been an aspiring head coach, and was fortunate enough to get the position. There are a number of challenges facing the coaching staff, including getting new players up to speed and teaching the veterans a slate of new plays. I think the, the biggest challenge this year is teaching the team a new scheme, two new schemes, a new scheme on offense, new scheme on defense, and new special team scheme. And I think they're picking it up pretty quick. And then it's getting the kids, to, the student athletes, to believe in themselves and to play with confidence and to trust their reads, trust their keys, and just let it loose and play football and have fun. Unfortunately, the Red Devils did not come out on top last season. This year, they are moving on from their mistakes, and part of that is to work hard as a team. Uh, we motivate them through our culture. Uh, one of the things that we talked about on day one is, you know, our, our mantra here is tough people win. And I define what toughness is for them and what tough people do. And they, have, they all signed it and committed to being tough this year, not only for the program and for themselves, but for the team. And we talk in our culture a lot about relentless effort, uh, playing as hard as we can play for four to six seconds from point A to point B for ourselves, for the program, and for our teammates. And, and that's really seemed to work for them to get them to understand the, the total team concept and team picture and that we're all connected to each other and that we all you know, feed off each other and we're all uh, you know, affected by each other. With the, you know, one fails, we all fail. One succeeds, we all succeed. If one guy takes a playoff, we're all going to be affected by it. If all 11 do what they're supposed to do, we're going to have success. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, it's how you play the game. No, we're looking forward to the opportunity to play every single week. Uh, we don't really, we're not really concerned with who we're playing. We're going to show up. We're going to play as hard as we can. We're going to play with relentless effort. We're going to play tough. We're going to play four to six A to B and execute what we do and let the chips fall where they may. And we're going to play with extreme effort and we're going to compete like crazy. One of Dan McKay's favorite things about being the head coach is teaching the kids how to play. And the student athletes here are working extremely hard. They've been really focused on what we've been doing. They've been doing what we've asked them to do. They've done what we've asked them to do all summer. Um, and so far in the preseason, they've been working really hard at what we've been trying to teach them to do um, and really hard at in installing our culture. In addition to a new coach, the Red Devils have a new quarterback as well, who is very excited about the 2017 season. Uh, it's very exciting. New coach, new staff. Can't wait. Coach McKay hopes that the Red Devils will take something away from the upcoming season. I hope they understand the, the value of hard work and what it takes to be successful. It's not, it's the easiest thing in the world to say you want to be great at something, but it's actually very difficult to achieve that. And football is kind of a microcosm of life. You're going to get knocked down, but you got to get back up. You're going to be tired, but you got to continue to work, not only for yourself, but for the guy next to you, whether in the future that's for your family. So I think it teaches them a lot of those values that will help them later on in life of hard work, competing, being committed to different things, and then being relentless with their effort. You know, you're relentless with your effort in the football field, you have success. If you're relentless with your effort in the classroom and later on in your career, you'll have success. So hopefully that will translate for them. Finally, Coach McKay is ready for the kickoff and is excited to see the team in action. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the season. I hope that everybody comes out and watches us. I hope we have an exciting team, put a good product in the field. Uh, student athletes are working extremely hard. We got a lot of, lot of good athletes, a lot of good football players out here who are excited for the season and, you know, just trying to, we're trying to get better every single day. Our goal right now is getting better every day during the preseason and we're looking forward to playing games during the season and showcasing our talents. From the practice field, I'm Robert Paris for B News Weekly.